Oh, people out there are smashing mad, folks. I'm telling you, they're smashing mad. Have an article here at 5NBC DFW. And as you know, this channel talks about preserving great art, music, history, culture, our way of life as Americans. So I thought I'd talk about this. It says Dallas man who got mad at his girl admits to destroying $5.1 million in art at DMA. Now, this came out June 2nd. According to an arrest warrant obtained by NBC5 Thursday afternoon, a man identified by police as 21-year-old Brian Hernandez was apprehended late Wednesday night at the museum after he forced his way inside and destroyed several items. The arresting document said Hernandez smashed the glass front entrance to the museum with a metal chair at about 9.40 p.m., and once inside, intentionally damaged or destroyed 5,153,000 worth of artwork, including several pots and statues. Hey, BLM and Antifa, I got a new recruit for you. A guard told police after a motion sensor went off, he and another guard went to investigate the concourse and found the man. The guards asked him what he was doing, and he said he got mad at his girl, so he broke in and started destroying property. Ooh, that must have been some fight. The guard told Hernandez to sit on a bench while he called the police, which he did, and that's where officers found him when they arrived a short time later. Police did a walkthrough of the museum with the director of security and noted multiple art displays and cases had been destroyed. Surveillance video reviewed by the Dallas police and referenced in the arresting document said Hernandez used a stool to destroy at least two display cases worth $17,000 each, along with four pieces, a black figure panel and four 6th century Greece pot, a red figure Pyxis 450 BC pot that were both shattered. The pots together were valued at $5 million, a 6th century ceramic cup, Kylix Heracles and Nemeon lion valued at 100000 and the Caddo statue Bada Kuha alligator gar fish valued at 10000 were also destroyed. The items inside of the display cases that were destroyed are rare ancient artifacts that are extremely precious and one-of-a-kind, police said in the affidavit. Other items, including a computer, a phone, a bench, and signage were also destroyed. There you go, BLM and Antifa. Got a new recruit for you, like I said. Was this guy involved with any of the riots in 2020? Police said the final valuations of the damage done inside the museum may change based on the final assessment by the museum's curator and insurance provider. Photos of the damaged and destroyed artwork have not yet been released. Quote, while we are devastated by this incident, we are grateful that no one was harmed, the museum said in a statement. The safety of our staff and visitors, along with the care and protection of the art and our stewardship, are utmost priorities. And they have a photo of this guy here. This is Brian Hernandez. Not a bad looking guy. Why did you, and I'm screaming at this photo as I'm talking to you. Why did you feel the need, if you got magic girlfriend, why did you feel the need to break into a museum that had nothing to do with this fight with you and your girlfriend and destroy valuable ancient Grecian art, dumbass? Hernandez was booked into the Dallas County Jail on a charge of criminal mischief greater than $300,000 and is being held on a bond of $100,000. Police said during an interview with detectives, Hernandez confessed to destroying the property. Jail records did not list an attorney. Though some of the permanent collection galleries were closed due to the ongoing investigation, the Dallas Museum of Art was open to visitors Thursday. It's an article again here at 5NBC DFW. Dallas man who got mad at his girl admits to destroying $5.1 million in art at DMA. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. You can also catch me at Instagram or follow me at Instagram, hashtag Jason Composes. Or go to Twitter, Culture Confederacy at Twitter. This is the Culture Confederacy saying peace out. Stay safe, everybody. God bless this great country, and I'll catch you next time.